Okay, today is April 7th, 2020. My name is Emily Sherio. I'm an internal strategy consultant at GitLab. And today I'm going to demo our new uh, OKR process starting this quarter. So uh, really looking forward to feedback on this, but let's show what we've got so far. So I've created the three epics for the three top level CEO OKRs. Um, they are IACV, uh, great product and great team. Um, I'm going to use some of the examples from engineering's OKRs from last quarter as a as an example here. If we use them, great. If not, we can just close those. So um, what you see here is the uh, epic for the CEO OKR around IACD. And this has three KRs associated with it. Um, drive IACD with growth initiatives, uh, more efficient marketing, and IACD uh, a more efficient sales efficiency process. So um, these are the three OKRs and you'll note or the three KRs and you'll notice they are issues. Um, this is because of some really great functionality that we'll be rolling out uh, later this year. It sh should be in the next release around assigning a health status to an issue. So what that's going to look like uh, if we go look at the example. and the design. Um, so every issue will have a health status of on track, at risk, or needs attention associated with it. Um, and the EPIC will roll up to say how many of those um, KRs are, are on track or not. So what, assuming these three issues were on track and this EPIC were not here, what we would see is that this Epic uh, 408 would have a um, health status of three issues on track or one on one and one or whatever it might be. And then um, when we look, I uh, borrowed from last quarter's engineering OKRs, but enterprise grade gitlab.com was one of them. And the three KRs were um, launching this new uh, measure of availability, uh, an availability metric, and um, delivering the uh, top 10 customer features or customer requested features. And so um, all of these will have health statuses associated with them that will roll up to this epic here. So we'll see using this view again, um, we will see, you know, this epic is on track. And so this larger OKR has some portion of things that are on track, need attention, are, and are at risk. Um, we can assign issues to individual people uh, assign milestones, so all the, the things and the advantages of using issues in epics uh, we get to take advantage of with this process. One in particular I'll highlight, we never really had a great way to indicate um, cross-functional dependencies in our OKR process. And so, you know, here, deliver the top 10 customer requested features as prioritized by product management does have a, a dependency there. And now using issues and epics for this, we can explicitly call out that something is blocked or block something else and then link to related issues. So a brief overview of what that looks like. The goal should be that in, um, in key meetings, we should be able to say, okay, here, here's the ICB OKR, here is the OKR that comes from uh, Eric Johnson in engineering, and we can review this in the meeting. And maybe this is assigned to one person, and this is assigned to someone else, and, and they are just responsible for updating the health status during that call, but um, we're seeing the roll up right here. So it does require a little bit of imagination right now while the feature isn't on production, but uh, we can all look at this together. This is slated for 12.10, so uh, we should see it before the next uh, OKR cycle actually begins. And I'm really excited for the efficiency that this is gonna provide um, to being able to see things at a glance. I'll add a personal workflow preference, uh, not the way things are meant to be, but um, I like to assign issues to myself and add a due date 
that really is not a DUE date, but a due date. Um, if you assign a due date to an issue, it will surface in your email inbox the day before. So um, I like to assign, for example, if you know that you want to update an issue every Thursday, I would uh, go ahead and assign it to me on, excuse me, uh, on that Thursday with that due date, update the health status, and then uh, assign it to the following Thursday. That's just a personal workflow preference. Um, different people have different ways of doing that. So uh, if you do that, though, you should communicate uh, with your stakeholders, whomever that might be, how you're using the due date and what that means. Um, but hopefully this brings a lot of transparency to the process and can be useful. So, um, and I look forward to working any feedback into improving the process um, and really getting the chance to dog food some of the awesome features that the strategic planning team has uh, been working on. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, the best place is in the OKRs channel, and I'll make sure to make it clear in the handbook. Thanks.